Hi Pisces, welcome to your love connection reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, we're going to look at your love connection for January 2020. Can you believe we're in January already? This will be out before Christmas, so I will say Merry Christmas anyway and a Happy New Year. So this has to be an actual connection that you have with somebody. You don't have to be committed or anything like that, but you have to be aware of each other and aware there is some kind of connection. If you have a connection with somebody or you think you do, but they don't know who you are, you may want to watch the singles reading I do on my channel um, every month um, if you're interested in that. And you can check out my channel. And if you like what you see, uh, there's a lot of different types of readings that I do. Um, so you can check that out. I do you know, Love Connection. I do singles. I do uh, a general tarot forecast. And I do uh, spirit messages, what you need to know from spirit at this time so bonus readings of all kinds for all signs so if you like what you see you can always subscribe so the first thing i'm going to do here pisces is and welcome everyone i hope everybody's doing well is uh get a sign well we may get a sign element planet it's a zodiac oracle all the decks are listed below so if you like to check out the description box tons of stuff there how to reach out for personal reading decks i'm using social media i'm on instagram and I also do readings on Instagram. I have a Facebook page and a lot of stuff down there. So let's see the sign. Well, we got your own energy here. We got water. So that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So you could be dealing with a fellow water sign or you're just in your energy coming up in January. Maybe some of you are going solo in January and just want to be solo. I don't know. Or this is an energy of um, water is... Uh, very flowing fluid energy it's a healing energy it's about um cycles and that kind of energy also it's about feelings emotions and uh that kind of energy so we'll see how that plays into your reading all right for pisces so pisces if you're new first thing i'm going to do here with this uh oracle deck is pull an overall love energy between you and your person see what the love energy is like for whoever you have in mind at this time for this reading so can we get an overall love energy well that's two okay i guess that one love so this is soulmate union here this is two people coming together as one this is soulmate love soulmate union wow that's a major arcana so feeling in love, feeling love towards somebody, hoping for soulmate union or coming into union with a soulmate. Wow, okay. So we'll see. A lot of feelings and emotions maybe here with um, that water energy. Okay, so let's see. So the next thing I'm going to do now, Pisces, is get one for you, how you are feeling about your person in the connection, and then one for them. And then we'll clarify more tarot. So I'm going to put Pisces, you here, your person there. But if any time throughout this reading you feel like the energies are switched at any point, then please do that. I'll mention signs at the end so it's not so confusing. So that's too many. Okay, one for Pisces and one for their person. You have Master. So this is um, the devil energy. So this is about, you know, it can be about toxic energy. It can be just a very lustful, strong, deep, deep connection that sometimes, you know, those deep, strong connections where you feel like you can't live without the person, that other person, sometimes they can become toxic. So this is sometimes can be toxic energy or, or it's just a very lusty, like sexual attraction um, also. Um, so we'll see how that plays into the reading. But I did notice here that... One and five is six, and we got six there. So it could just be a very strong, deep, deep bond between you and this person. So let's see what your person has. So well-deserved reward. So this is the nine of pentacles energy. So they may be somebody single. This is somebody who, um, it's a nine of pentacles. So they're stable, secure on their own. They're very, very independent. They have everything they need. They can take care of themselves. Person that you may be dealing with. So I feel like, yes, they feel like it's a soulmate union and um, there definitely is love and emotions here, but I also feel like they like to be able to 
be able to be free to do their own thing also to be independent um, and be able to go and do what you know what they want when they want not that it's anything bad but I think they still like their independent freedom and you may you may be get you may get very attached to this person that may be a little bit of that toxic energy like you always want to be with them you know kind of energy so I don't know we'll see what what's going on here so and I just know water is six the lovers is six master if you reduce that is six so six 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 wow you may want to look up that angel number a six to me is always a very healing balancing um harmonious number so maybe you know maybe they'll help to balance you out to help you know bring inner peace to you if you feel i don't know if you feel like you have toxic energy maybe you feel like you're too codependent maybe you're trying to work on that balance yourself out um maybe they can help you become more independent on your own as well so yeah healing begins six wow that's four sixes now that's just ridiculous this is a six of swords energy and i had just said that about going into a healing balancing harmonious place so i feel like this connection um and maybe they help to heal you in some way help to heal your toxic energies from the past maybe maybe they're helping to heal your heart and everything is going into a very healing, healing energy. Wow, it's nice energy there, Pisces. All right, so let's clarify this with tarot. Wow, healing your heart. I feel like you may have just like been through something, gone through something, whether it was a relationship or something here. And now, you know, coming together with this person will be very healing. They'll help to... Um, make you feel more independent and make you, you know, not make you, but help you like stand on your own. All right. So let's see what we have here. Wow. The emperor, emperor, empress doesn't matter. So yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Let me get one. That's how you're feeling. So, you know, the emperor is somebody who takes the lead, takes control, takes charge. I think they're really going to show you how to tame your energy to, um, take charge of your energy and to control it and like tame your beast from within wow okay so let's see what they have the devil wow that's the the devil twice so yeah this could be a very very strong uh bond here it's very sexual lusty kind of energy also but i think they're feeling that towards you and you're feeling that towards them so, wow, let's get a couple more to clarify this and see what's going on. I think as strong bond as it is or the physical attraction or whatever here, somehow through it, you, you find your way through to find balance and healing energy and yet uh, learn how to be stable, grounded, each on your own independently through it. Somehow you're going to work through it, I feel. Two of Swords, so indecisive energy, uh, not able to make a decision, indecisive energy here. I think I think you're confused as to how can I control my passion, how can I control my energy to be so needy or codependent. You don't really know how to take lead, take control to do that. And I think I think they maybe see you in this energy and they're like, you know what, I I know how to do that, so I'm gonna show you how, how to take control. Of your energy so and being a, in a more loving compassionate balanced healing energy all right so let's see the hierophant wow so this is all about faith spirituality um, doing what's moral just and right uh, values um, commitment marriage sometimes so you know so we go from the devil to the hierophant. Wow. So yeah, so that's like balancing energy. So they're really going to show you how to be independent, how to balance your energy, how to work through your um, little, I don't want to say toxic energy, but if you're needy or codependent and you and you're, you don't feel safe um, being on your own or secure, being alone or being independent kind of energy I think they're really going to show you that you can do that and balance out the energies here wow 
All right, so that makes sense for anyone, everyone. I don't know. Let's see. Um, let's get the actual situation for you, Pisces, and this connection. So we have the Queen of Swords energy in reverse. So the Queen of Swords uh, can be a little cold, a cold cutting with their tongue. Um, they tell it like it is, and they may come across as kind of brash and harsh. And, uh, you know, I don't want to say mean, but, you know, just very brash. All right, so let's see what else. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. So that's an energy of, you know, feeling lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold, neglected, um, kind of energy. So let's get one more. It's right in the middle. Let's get one more. The Fool. So taking a leap of faith here. Brand new start. So I definitely see, yeah, I feel like with the Queen of Swords in reverse on your side, I feel like sometimes you say things you shouldn't say, you do things you shouldn't do without thinking. You're not really sure with the sword energy. Am I doing the right thing? Am I saying the right thing? I don't know what to do. And sometimes you maybe do things that are foolish and you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say or do that. And maybe it has caused you to push people away in your life with the Five of Pentacles energy, uh, which left you like, or that you or people, you know, left abandoned, you know, abandoned, left out in the cold energy. But they definitely want to take a leap of faith. That's on your on their side. A leap of faith, a brand new start, resetting at zero, jumping right in with you. Right, probably right into commitment. It could be a commitment in here. I don't know. Let's get a couple more. I don't get the sense. I mean, the Queen of Swords can sometimes um, use that sword to cut out things no longer serving her, telling it like it is. Um, Page of Cups, yeah, on their side. Nine of Wands on your side, though, like feeling like beat up and worn out and just tired and dragged through the mud and you've been through it. But, you know, the Nine of Wands, they keep fighting on no matter what they've been through. Maybe you just don't know how to do that. It's like, you know, I've been through the ringer here of the past I've been through it, been through it, you know, I've been trying, trying to fight on, to persevere on, but I'm indecisive of how to keep going, how to balance out my energy, you know, what do I do, I just don't know, you know, and the five of pentacles, you know, could be that lack energy, like I just don't know, but they definitely want to take a leap of faith with you here, and here's the page of cups coming in with the loving uh, communication, terms of endearment, um, kind of energy, offering their love, communication, loving communication. I feel like it's very stable with the Hierophant there. They have a lot of values, morals, um, spirituality, faith, religion, kind of energy also. I think I really is going to help you to come out of this lack mentality of um, I'm not good enough or you know, I, I just don't know. I don't know, you know, how to be stable. I don't know how to be independent. I don't know how to be secure. I don't know if I can heal my heart. I don't know if I can move forward again. Although, you know, you feel this connection with them. I think they're really going to help you through all of this. Because I see all healing. I see love. I see balancing of energies. And I feel like they're going to help you in this journey. Wow. Okay. So... Okay. Wow. So <laughs> this is your advice. So we got the four of wands and the ace of swords. So this is a brand new divinely, uh, divinely guided beginning based on truth, clarity, uh, cutting away things no longer serving you, o open, honest, truthful communication, success, victory, a big epiphany, awakening, four of wands, soulmate, twin flame, energy, commitment, marriage, ceremony, celebrations, people coming together and sharing everything. So... I think you're going to see with truth and clarity that this person, this is stability in the home life or, you know, in a connection. You're going to see with truth and clarity, they're going to help to show you that. So your advice is to take their advice with the Ace of Swords, you know, let them help you see things with truth and clarity to, you know, bring you, you know, stability in your home life and your life in general and in the connection. And commitment they may want to tell you you know i want to commit i want this new beginning so let's see let's see 
I see very successful energy, open, honest energy. Let's see a few more. Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment here. Happiness and joy and fulfillment and wishes and dreams coming true on your side. So you're like, oh my God, they're like a wish come true. They're like helping me heal. They're helping me balance out my energy. They're helping me work through my issues. They're helping me, you know, to become more stable and grounded and successful and independent on my own and giving me that strength that I can do it. Wow. And we have the three of wands energy here on their side also for your advice. So, you know, the three of wands talks about looking out into the distance and seeing your future, your path, your way, but may not be the right time yet, or you just have to wait for the right time. So it's an energy of patiently waiting. So I think they're patiently, patiently working with you. They're patiently, they patiently want to help you, heal you, balance you, love you, <laughs> new beginning with you, be committed with you. They may even want to marry you someday. They're willing to put in all this dedicated and hard work because they feel the soulmate connection with you. A lot of deep emotions also with that water energy. And you're going to realize, wow, this person is just too good to be true. They're like my dream, my wish come true. So let's see what the outcome is for you here, Pisces. What is the outcome here for Pisces? Feeling that one. The Queen of Cups. So that's your energy. So they are going to, they, this is your outcome of you being you, being in your power, being who you truly are, being stable, successful, balancing out your energies, healing all energies, situations, issues here, and being, being just stable and grounded, being just in your own energy and being who you are. Wow. And like being also in love with this person, love, emotions, feelings. Wow. They're going to help you become you and be in your energy. So we have the Eight of Swords. This is all mental entrapment, mental blockages, you know, overthinking too much, can't get out of your own thoughts, your own way. And two of Wands, so making plans, decisions for the future, moving forward. So they're going to help you remove these blocks to wish fulfillment. And I see you making plans for the future with this person. Two wants, two unity coming together, unity, soulmate. Definitely making plans, decisions for the future. What path, what direction are we going? You know, what's our future? What does it look like? And choosing a path. Wow. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom. Justice. So, yeah, justice being served in this connection. Truth, clarity, balancing out all energies here justice in this connection because this is i feel a soulmate connection seven of wands so you know being a little defensive on guard so maybe you know you're a little defensive about your you or them however the energies are here about you know your energy your situations or whatever you know maybe trying to defend yourself or your actions or whatever here but you know stress worry anxiety fear Staying up at night, can't sleep. So somebody being in that energy while trying to balance energies out. That could be you. Like, how do I balance my energies out? What do I do here? But yet being being a little defensive about it for some reason. But yet justice will prevail here and everything will balance out. Truth will be had. Clarity. Because you do have the Ace of Swords there. You know, balancing out the energy here. Yeah, so balancing out energy here. Getting through the stress, fear, anxiety, you know, being a little defensive, but yet justice prevailing in this connection with the soulmates coming together and all energies being healed and worked on and balanced and issues being resolved and toxic energies just melting away. Wow. People becoming more stable, secure, grounded, independent, being able to stand on their own two feet, being in their own energy. That's nice. Okay, so let's get um, Pisces for you here. One of these cards. If you do like my energy, how I read, please do. If you're new, like, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do all kind of readings. So you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, uh, please do subscribe. And if you do, thank you, thank you. 
All right, so Pisces. Divine Masculine. Exactly. Your person here, either you are the Divine Masculine or this is a Divine Masculine that is in their power that is coming in to put help you get in your Divine Feminine energy. Or you are... Um, or vice versa, you know, however it works for you. And we have 32 here, which is five. There's a lot, gonna be a lot of change in this connection. If you're a male watching this, you could be the divine masculine. Um, maybe your feminine is gonna help you become the masculine. Or if you're a feminine watching this, I feel like your masculine could be coming in to put, bring, help raise you up to your feminine energy, you know, divine feminine energy. Wow. It's like passion ignited and divine energy coming in and people being in their divine power. So let's see if there's one more. If we get the divine feminine, I like, I don't know. You are the universe. So, and we have 29, which is 11. And then that's two, which is two people coming together. And 11 is you on the right path. You're going in the right direction. It's also half of the twin flame number. I feel like you are just two two people that are as one. It's like all universal energies. Like you both have the same energy. You both are as one. Wow. Well, we don't have divine feminine, but we got divine animals. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So divine animals. So some of you here, um, twenty two, which is four. Uh, which is about stability, structure, the basis. So some of you may have a, a connection to um, animals in some way. Or you could have a very um, like animalistic lust for one another and it's like divine animals. <laughs> um, that kind of energy. Or you just have a strong connection to animals. So you may want to pay attention to that. Whether it's pets or whatever here. Um, if you keep seeing like the same animals over and over... You may want to look up the angel meaning of that animal. Maybe some messages for you. We do have a lion here. But for signs here, we have Gemini. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Libra. Um, we have Capricorn. We have Aries, uh, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Taurus. And those are the signs I see. Okay, um, Pisces, so good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.